So the first thing you want to do in this form is enter your, your customer's name. So enter their full name. Then you want to enter their email address. And their cell phone number. And then ultimately you hit the sign in button. So there shows a confirmation. Now, the thing to remember about this form is a couple ways you can do it. You can either have your service person when they go to the door, if they have a cell phone or if they have a tablet, they can show the customer this and, and sign in. The other way that you can do it is from your office. Um, enter their name and just like what we did here, right? So uh, two ways that you can do it. Uh, so, you know, the, at the way of... of Entering it at the um, at the customer with your, your your service person, you know that's one way of it, it's it's a way that to look you know professional. Say you know, uh, one small script might be the technician would say to the customer, "Hi, Mr. And Mrs. Customer, you know I'm here from X Y Z company, and uh, you know I'd like you to sign in, sign me in, please, so that my office knows that I have arrived and I'm on time." And so, you know, you they present the customer the uh, their cell phone or a tablet with this page person types their name in real quick and it logs their current time and and date so it's a very professional way of handling it but again you can do this from your your office as well just kind of type the person's information in but keep in mind what we do with this is we um, we follow up on them based on the, what we set up in the campaign and of course we'll talk about that with you. Um, if you have any questions, just contact uh, contact me at the office. Um, but that's it for this one. It's really quite simple, straightforward, just really takes under 10 seconds to um, enter a person's information in. Okay, thanks.